Hi, I'm Markia. Want to hear something scary? The Collector. There's a night once a year when the streets go dark. But darkness cannot hide those who are marked. In these lonely late hours, debts that are unpaid weigh heavy the guilt of what is owed refusing to fade. Beware the collector, he's come for your debt. His pieced together face is the most terrifying you've met. Jada had been attending college for only a few months when she first heard about the collector. It was described as an ancient but starved creature that haunted the campus once a year on the night of its birth. Restricted to that one night, the collector spent it savagely recouping what it was owed before the dawn broke. It preyed upon those that owed the biggest debts, the indebted students and faculty members. But the collector wasn't on Jada's mind. She was proud of the fact that she didn't owe anyone money foolishly forgetting that there is more to unpaid debts than money alone. For instance, Jada didn't like to tell people no. She tended to agree to everything to make others happy. Extra assignments, yes, volunteer work, certainly. Pleasing people made her feel good, but she was a serial overcommitter, and it all came to a head. She began missing commitments, forgetting promises. The broken obligations piled high. Jada had just texted that she'd have to cancel yet another session of a study group she'd set up when her friend Claire came barging into her dorm room. You were supposed to help me set up for Jess's party three hours ago. Jada tried to apologize, but Claire had heard it all before. Then a flicker. Above them, the light wavered, then strobed, then at the door was a knock. Jada reached for the handle. Don't, whispered Claire. Don't you know what tonight is? The collector stalks. He's come to collect our debts. Don't be ridiculous. Jada laughed at Claire and swung the door wide. On the other side stood a figure, bare, pale, tall, and missing things from its body. It was the collector. It had no toes, only one eye. Its face was bare from the eye down, no nose or mouth, a single lopsided ear, and a smattering of fingers that fell short of ten. In one hand, it clutched a sewing needle, bloody thread hanging long. The few features it did have, that one eye, the crooked ear, the few fingers were all sewn on. None of the mismatched features were its. Claire grabbed Jada's hand, pulling her through the second door leading down into another hall. Spotting the dormitory bathrooms, they ducked inside a stall, peering from under the door. I thought it only collected money. Oh my God, I've let so many people down. Quiet, Claire breathed shallowly. It's coming. The collector stopped inches from the stall, its one loose eye blinking. The door creaked as it banged against it, searching for them. Its long hand reached over the stall door. Claire motioned for Jada. Above them was an air duct. They popped it open and they climbed up through their old dorm building. They kept moving. For hour after hour, Claire led Jada above the halls, avoiding the collector that was hunting them, always trailing, but so close, trailing from below. She told her, they had to hide till dawn. How do you know so much about the collector? Jada asked. Claire tucked back her hair. She was missing an ear. I didn't listen to those who needed to be heard the most. It took my ear as payment. Something suddenly reached up from a vent slat. The collector, he'd found his way inside, pulling itself up, its fingers clawed at Jada's chin, her lips, he wanted her mouth. The collector's jagged fingernails tore at the seam of Jada's mouth, digging underneath. Jada could feel, hear, the wet rip of her own flesh. Pain bloomed hot an instant, and her vision faltered suddenly. Everything went black. When Jada awoke, she wasn't in the dorm. She was lying in a hospital bed, long bandages wrapped around the lower half of her face. Her mouth had the collector collected it. Fingers shaking, Jada unraveled the bandage layer after layer until 
the sun rose before he could completely rip your mouth off. Claire, now standing in the doorway with flowers, explained. The doctor reattached it. She was right, Jada realized. She ran her fingers across her lips. Along the edges, she could feel the thick stitches holding her lips in place. The collector was gone for now. She was safe for another year at least. After she healed, Jada was more careful of what she said. No more hollow promises. She'd be sure to fulfill her debts before the collector stalked again. Thank you to all of our patrons. While we do run a limited amount of ads, the show would not be possible without your support. If you want to keep these videos coming, please visit patreon.com slash snarled. Want more Something Scary? You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary podcast. Available for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary at snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, my dark darlings, sweet dreams.